Yeah, your man DJ Silver Knight Party Fanatic is going all the way down once again. But first, Whiskey, you know how we do we over here at Cole Highland, downtown Atlanta. Hang with my homie, the big dog, rap extraordinaire, comedian, yo, actor, yo. you know, you know, just just all around good dude. My man, Lazane. What's up, what up, what's up boy? What's up, what's up, what's up man? Man, yeah. just feel good to be here, man. Finally like, with the guy, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We come alive in the night, man. Man, we've been rocking a long time, man. man we've been rocking a while, man. <laughs> you've been a big supporter of my whole snap, my whole movement, man. Like, and I'm a supporter of yours as well, too. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate Definitely. you here, man. Well, we're gonna get into a lot of new projects today. Okay. We're gonna talk about some, you know, throwback stuff. Okay. But first, but first. Okay, first. Whiskey. Let's Wh get oh, it. Man. Let's get it. Woo! Let's get it. Am, what's up, Am? Nephew, what it do? Oh, you know how we do. I didn't know I was on um this is this the Drink Champs remix? You know, Cause we're doing this damn thing. We're, we're doing it. You we're know, once it. we take a shot, the rest of the day is like, fuck. Do you know that, right? Well, you like, know, we're, we're doing about five of them, so. Oh, we out of here. Fuck the day. It's, it's I, told, I was telling him earlier, when you start drinking at like 12 or 1, mm -hmm. the rest of the day just like is a fucking blur. Well, you like, said it feels like vacation. It feels like vacation. Like right now, when we take this shot, I might go to Jamaica on your ass. Like, well, while, let's go. Let's while go. I'm sitting but right first here. whiskey. But first whiskey. Shout out, man. <laughs> Got you. Now, I'm going to Jamaica after I take this shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, like I might be here, but my mind, my <laughs> body, and my mind in Jamaica, nigga. Let's let's do it. Let's go. Cheers. Shots. Cheers. Whiskey. Cheers. Let's go for Kobe. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Woo! Woo! That's shots, it. Shout out to our sponsors. That's Kayo. We we don't have no sponsors yet. We need some. That's Kayo. That's uh. Ooh. Oh yeah, you can bring that on in. Japanese whiskey. Oh. So that's aged. Okay. This particular whiskey is actually aged at sea. Oh wow. Yeah, it's sourced in uh Japan, but aged at sea, and they. Roll, uh, roll the barrels around wow. on a boat, bring it back, and it's whiskey. Hold on, that's from Japan? Yeah. That, that carnivore whiskey, shit, that shit is in Japan or China? This right here? No, the the, 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 the coronary virus, nigga. Is that shit in Japan oh, or I, China? Well, I think this is before the... Okay, shit. But don't this kill everything? Oh, oh, yeah, it does. Right? Another shot. Fuck it. I don't want <laughs> to fucking wait, die. Wait. I don't want to <laughs> fucking... No, nigga, fuck that. Another Excuse shot. Excuse me, now say what? I do not fucking want to die, man. Nah, he said it kills. He said it kills all viruses. Oh, no, Give me fun. another one. Goddamn. Oh, that, here we go. That See? shit done reached the United States, man. Yeah. Keep a. Hey, yeah. Okay. To the virus. To, to the coronavirus Keep being being out of here. I, I want the Heineken. Give me the Heineken virus. The Fuck Heineken that Corona virus. shit. Fuck. That. I like Heineken better anyway. Fuck that shit. Let's go. You ready? Let's go. Let's Fuck. go. Oh, 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 he's oh, already yep, started. Yep, Help us, man. Mm mm. -mm. I just went first to, whiskey. I just went to the Cayman Islands on y'all bitches. Woo! You from uh you from Yonkers? Yeah, man. You was uh well, I'm from Atlanta. I was born in Yonkers. You was born in Yonkers. Yeah, I like to say born raised in, in Atlanta. Yonkers. Yeah, raised in Atlanta. Okay. Uh when did you leave Yonkers? Um I left Yonkers when I was a kid, like four or five years old. Okay. We had and a then, shootout whoa, look out there. All the, all this damn food coming oh, already. Wow. We had wow. my, my my parents told me it was a shootout out there. Mm -hmm. They found me with my me they found me covered over my brother. We was, oh, in a, we was in a park, and they found me covered over my brother, and then my pops was like, it's time to go. You don't remember none of that? I don't remember none of that shit. Wow. Like, I was a hero at, like, five and shit. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, I was all covered over the nigga? Like, he was wow. like, yeah. And I was like, damn, that's real shit. What got you into music? What got me into music, mm -hmm. man, um, when I moved to Atlanta, um, I really started listening to, like, um, I mean, this is probably tell my age, but mm -hmm. listening to, like, Criss Cross and, mm -hmm, and, and, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. ABC mm -hmm. and BBD and, oh, you know that, what I'm saying? You, you people got some from real Atlanta. ATL influence. Yeah, people from Atlanta, man. Um, um, you know, growing up, Dallas, Austin, Kilo mm -hmm, Ali, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know, just the real A-Town, man. I, I, I grew up, and that was at a time when, you know, kids, Usher, kids was blowing mm -hmm. up out of Atlanta. So Atlanta was the only city that made me feel like you could be a kid and really take over yeah you know what i mean it was a, i think it was the first city to really give young artists that chance like to just no matter what age you are if you're 12 and you know how to do that shit, you get yeah. a chance so yeah. you know i started young out here man so um when you had your first single how did how did that jump there was no social media mm. it, it was there was no uh facebook instagram all that stuff well, right how here. how did uh how did that get cracking for you once you recorded you recorded your song recorded your album okay uh this is what 2000 yeah right yeah um, so how did that how did that first jump how did you like what did you do how did you, your team move man i guess when i first recorded my first record um and feel free to jump in here because i'm about okay. to <laughs> i don't want to be rude but i'm about to eat bro. i got you guys when i recorded my <laughs> first record it was hard to um it's hard to remember my exact first record i recorded but um mm -hmm. 
you know, um, as far as the singles go, I think the first single anybody ever knows me for is probably anywhere or 112. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just it just came from um, having the same. And you was featured on that one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. having the same manager as 112. Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, I started doing music back in like you know the middle of the 90s, like mm -hmm. 93, 94. Mm -hmm. And I had a manager um, by the name of Kevin Wells, and he was managing mm -hmm. 112 at the time. And um, I had knew him for years, like before he had 112. He used to manage me when I was a kid. I was in a kid group. But through time, whatever, boom, boom, I grew up. He was managing 112 later, later a couple years down mm -hmm. the line. And I just happened to be ready, bro. I seen him and I was like, hey, man, I grown up a little more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want you to check out my new stuff. And he actually took the time. Every, and the one thing I could say about K. Wells, like every time I approached him, you know, growing up as a kid to a teenager, he always took the time to listen to me. Mm -hmm, and um, mm -hmm. I was like, yo, why don't you hear my new stuff? And I let him hear a couple rhymes and shit. And he was like, yo. So that makes know. sense. Your, your first uh, big single had 112 singing on it. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's crazy. I, I never knew uh, that part. Yeah, yeah. He um he was managing 112, so it, it, it kind of went together. I got this new group. They're working on their second album. I got a new artist that mm -hmm. um that that's, I'm trying to break. So he merged us together. And um I was fortunate that 112 accepted me. Yeah. And like that to, yeah. to let me be on the record. So yeah, so yeah. it was just all all perfect timing. The stars aligned at the right time. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to 112 too because um that was a life changer. That was a game changer for mm -hmm. me, man. Um, it's hard for artists to give another artist shine sometimes. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, especially when they're in a situation where they're not the happiest. Because everybody knows 112 situation from Bad Boy. They mm -hmm. wasn't always the happiest. Mm -hmm. So for them to give somebody else shine when they're not even totally happy. Right. I mean that was a big that, that said a lot for me. Now your first one went stupid. First album went crazy. First album went stupid. First album went stupid. I mean, I, I think it could have went better. Being honest, I mean, mm -hmm. with your show, man, I told myself when I come here, I'm gonna be totally honest. Um, I ain't gonna hold back nothing. Okay. You know, um, I had a lot of ups and downs in my career, mm -hmm. but I'm still on the up. You know what I mean? But I like to talk about the downs just as much as I like to talk about the ups. So first album, I feel like it could have did better. Mm -hmm. Um, my first album went gold. Um. But with the bootlegging and all that that took place there, mm -hmm. Napster and all mm -hmm. that, I mm -hmm. feel like I had a five. Yeah, you was I right had, there at the beginning my, of all my that. Album, right. my, my album, in my mind, I did 10 million mm -hmm. because right when my album hit, the Napster shit Napster, hit, everything yeah. hit. So yeah. a lot of my shit got downloaded and leaked. Mm -hmm. But as far as original copies, I sold um, 700,000 original copies right. of my first right. album. And right, hey, me, hey, let's drop, drop one for that. Yeah, for me, that was good. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of artists coming out did a lot better than that. But for me, man, being from nothing. And again, with no social media. No social media. I mean, maybe, was there even, was MySpace, Black um, Planet? No, MySpace wasn't around. When, it, when it, was even only, it was only, um, I think it was, the, the websites had just started, man. Right. They right. had just started putting the website. I remember I had a little poker game on the website that people right. used to love. Right. And um, I'm, I'm, again, man, um, you know, I think, um, yeah. Man, so, drink, so, so, drink, uh, are you ready for another have one already? Drink, I don't forgot my train of thoughts, though. I'm in Damn. fucking Jamaica right now. This gonna be this gonna be the the this, drunkest this one. This gonna be the drunkest. This one. gonna be the drunkest this episode. Gonna be the drunkest one. This is the first time I've, I've had a guest say like, "Yo, pour it up." Yo, pour it up, <laughs> man. Pour it up. Man. Bring some pickle juice. Let's do let's do a pickle back. So your, your second up second album drops doesn't do the numbers. Yeah, second. But, album. but that's that's because of the team. Yeah, not being non-existent. I, mean, I mean, let me break. Didn't the really, first, didn't really me, have. Uh, let me break the, the, the first backing, album. the promo. Let me break the first album down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, Am, you got to pour my. I can't be pouring my own whiskey on my yeah, show. You can't do that on can't your own show. Can't pour my own. Man. Yeah, you could pour yeah, me up, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. What's so, up, nephew? Nephew, can you in check the building, that out, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. Oh, that's why. That's why he can't pour because he because he might spill it. He's wasting. Yo, man, what What city we going to on this one? Uh, are we still in Jamaica? We're in Jamaica right now. Let's go to Australia. Fuck it, Australia. All right, cool. Come on, mate. <laughs> My mate. Let's go, mate. <laughs> I'm a clown, man. Hey, man, you better eat some. Be some of this food. Oh man, that shit is good. So let's just, so let's break it down, man. Mm -hmm. Just to, I know I know these people got places to be. So let's break it down. First album. I feel like the first album could have did. Oh yeah, this the pickleback. I feel like the first album could have did crazy, crazy, crazy. But the craziest thing about the first album is that's just the pickle juice. Right okay. Mmm. Damn, that's good. That's some good pickle juice. But I gotta actually drink this shit. Yeah. Like, put some ice. Put this on some ice. Straight. I'm fucking good. <sighs> I was just Wait, I had, she's trying to call me out. I was just fucking kidding, man. She's like, this shit don't taste good on the ice. No. Wait, what? What is this shot for? Oh, cause I hadn't had one yet. Oh, you haven't had one yet. No, he just poured me one. He poured you another one. 
fuck. Don't go to, don't go to um, Australia. We already in Australia. Don't leave yet. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I didn't, even, I didn't even pack my bags yet, bro. Because I just drank one, right? Fuck, I didn't even pack my bags. <laughs> do not go to Australia. Do not leave Australia yet. <sighs> this day is over. <laughs> His day. I told you once we get to drinking, it, it's day over. Is old so, so let's bring y'all back. I'm sorry, right. we've been drinking. First album. First All right, first album. album, man. Really, really good response, man. Um, I think the fans just it bust out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. We fresh off of anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere is double platinum. You know, I don't have no record deal. Mm -hmm. I'm running around here with a double platinum album. I'm on tour with Whitney Houston. I'm on tour with Bobby Brown. I'm on All tour right. with. Stop. You don't have a record deal. I have a record deal. When on uh, calling me or no? When I did anywhere. Anywhere was double platinum, and I didn't have a record. Done. Okay, you you were speaking on it, but okay, I got you. Yeah, got you. so so we had a bidding war going right. on. Right, got you. It was mm -hmm. out of you know um, mm -hmm. priority capital. Mm -hmm. Was out mm -hmm. of bad boy. Mm -hmm. Puff had asked me to sign the bad boy, mm -hmm. and I was you didn't do, in, you didn't do that. I was pulled in the room and asked, "Hey, you want to sign the bad boy? You want to sign this?" And at the time, me and K Wells was trying to start something new out of Atlanta, mm -hmm. and we was trying to do what QC and them doing mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. We was trying to start some new. So I said, "You know, Puff, love you to death, P." But I was like, I grew up with this guy. I'm loyal to my people. I grew up with this guy. Do you, you wish know? you would have now looking no, I, back? Um, or, you, or was that a, no, was I wouldn't change move? it. I think it was a good move for me. Okay. Okay. I think it was a good move for me because it made me be more independent. I think everybody that signed the bad boy, that machine was so crazy mm -hmm. that they didn't know how to hustle on their own. Gotcha. Okay. You get what I'm saying? They were just depending on. They was waiting on Puff. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? I was in a situation right. where I didn't have a Puff. I didn't have mm -hmm. a Jermaine Dupree. I didn't have a. I didn't have none of those. Um, I didn't have a Timberland. Think right. about. Think about right. Bow Wow. He had the. He had a Jermaine. Think about Missy. Or think mm -hmm. about they had a mm -hmm. Timberland. Mm -hmm. Who did Lil Zane have? Lil Zane and I didn't have a. They have I had one twelve. Right. I I didn't have right. a. I, Money bag. Yo got Yo Gotti. Mm. Um um um. Lil Wayne had the and like baby. Like you said, in their situation, they weren't even fully happy trying to figure yeah, that out. So it was like, yeah. And people don't know. I was on the island by myself. You know what I'm saying? I never had a only co-sign I had was 112. It was an R&B group, so people don't count that. I never okay. had a rap co-sign or, you know, I didn't. And that's why I feel like with the first album, we did really, really good on the mm -hmm. first album, but mm -hmm. it could have did better because I remember being on the road six, seven months promoting the same single. I remember my album being out. I mean, my first single being out for six, seven months before my first album dropped. Mm, mm. My 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 single my single was doing five hundred thousand gold, but I didn't. No albums was pressed up, and this was at a time when, mm. if singles sold mm -hmm. more than a hundred thousand, mm -hmm. they would snatch them off the mm -hmm. shelves and mm -hmm. throw the album out to make you buy the album. Right. So of imagine course, me course. being Lil Zane. My single was on the shelf for like six, seven months before my album dropped. Then once my album dropped. Once my album dropped, my second single didn't drop till seven, eight months later after my album dropped. That's unheard of. Right. But, but that, that's more so because of, of the independent movement that you were No, you were I on. think, you know, what it was is at the time, Lil Zane was moving so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I blew up off of one record. So I'm on tour with mm -hmm. Houston. Mm -hmm. I'm doing mm -hmm. movies with Dr. Mm -hmm. Doolittle. I'm mm -hmm. moving around the country. That's right. But nobody mm -hmm. ever thought we need to get in the studio and do this fucking album. Right. Cause we was moving so fast. When you go from a group like 112 that's already moving and throw me in the mix, I'm doing everything they doing. The Jimmy Fallon's, the I'm doing everything they with doing no album. With no album. So now when it's mm. time to do my album, it was a rush. All right, we're gonna get them to LA real quick. We're gonna do the album. Album came out great. I think um I worked good under pressure. Mm -hmm. So if you get the first album, I think it was a I think it was a classic first yeah. album. I put my heart into yeah. it. Um, but I was listening to it this morning. Yeah, I, 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 I want to get it in in mode, so I was listening to it, and it tripped me out because and I and I, I listened to it, you know, of course, back yeah, in the day, yeah. okay. and heard the Juice World sample that he did now, yeah. and I was like, Ways of the World. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Way way ahead of time. Yeah, man. I, and, and shout way ahead of rest time. Rest in peace to Juice yeah. World. To a lot of people yeah. come up to me, hey, Juice World stole your song. That wasn't my song, though. That no, was, that that was right. Sting. Right, that was right, Sting, the right, police, right, the Sting right, and the Police or right, something like that. Right. Um, they hit me for that sample, too. Oh, I bet. They killed me like 90%. <laughs> they wanted damn near 100% of that sample, yeah. bro. Uh, and um, again, yeah. man, the first album, I put, I put a lot into it. Mm -hmm. I was in L.A. Mm -hmm. for the first time. I rented a $30,000 a month mansion. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I brought 20 of my homeboys out there that never had been out the projects, never mm -hmm. had been out the city mm -hmm. and we went out to LA 2030 deep man I put them in a 17 bedroom house mm -hmm. and we kicked it and yeah. we made that first yeah. album yeah and I, you you had a kind of a, a a pock influence on that too yeah man um, you I'm gonna tell saying? you about that man that happened 
first of all, shout out to Pop, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the whole Outlaws. Mm -hmm. That happened so crazy. Like growing up, man, I had a, I had a, I had a gift, mm -hmm. and my gift was, and my dad told me to watch out for this. Jump on one of these wings real quick. These yeah. are the Malaysian chili wings. My gift, my gift growing up was I was able to. You better stop playing with your life right now, Zane. Voice. I got you. Better say, yeah, sit there over there. Sit there in the middle. I got you. But one of my talents growing up, I was able to imitate any voice. Like uh, if I hear Dre, uh -huh, if I hear uh -huh, Snoop, whatever uh -huh. was hot at the time, yeah. I was yeah. able to sound like that. So when mm -hmm. Snoop came out, mm -hmm. I sounded like Snoop. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. fucking Easy E was out, I sound like Easy mm -hmm. E. When Biggie was out, I tried to sound like Biggie. When Jay Z was out, I tried to sound like Jay Z. Mm -hmm. So when Pac came out, I was like, you know, I never intended to try to bite Pac or nothing like mm -hmm. that. I just, mm -hmm. you know, I like Pac style. I like what, you know, as a kid. You know, this nigga was shooting cops, getting away mm, with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know, he was bucking on the system. You know what I mean? As a kid, a rebellious kid. Big influence. You, yeah. He was a big influence. Mm -hmm. But then I got a chance to meet Biggie and Pop. And I'm be honest, you know what I'm saying? Biggie, Biggie was supposed to help write my first album when mm. I was when I was a kid. But mm -hmm. you know, I remember opening up for Biggie. This was at the Roxy back mm -hmm. in the day in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I opened mm -hmm. up for Biggie. And before he went on, I killed it. And then he was going on after me. We opened up for him, and, and before he went on stage, I'm like, yo, Big, what's up? Hey, I got a group. I want you to do a song with us. He turned to me like, he was like, kid, I don't even, I ain't even hear you rap yet. Like, I'm going to do a song with you. Watch out. Let me go on stage real quick. You know what I mean? Which was right. I probably interrupted him at the wrong time, but my thing was he crushed my spirit as a oh, kid. Oh, man. As a kid, that crushed your spirit. Yeah, but when of course. I met, But when I met Pop at Jack the Rapper. Mm-hmm. And by this lady named Mary Jo Moore. Yeah, you, you definitely throwing your age out there when you say Jack. Yeah, girl, come on, man. Like, I'm, hey, man, people don't know. You gotta, you gotta. When you, when you in your mid thirties and you look this good, <laughs> you gotta flex it. You know what I'm saying? But when I, I'm but, in my twenties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're in your twenties, looking like nineteen. <laughs> On you know vacation. What I'm saying? So basically, when I'm when when I met Pac, he was just so open and mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. and so nice and encouraging, my nigga. Like. Yo, and when I rap for Major Major Moore, was like, yo, kick a rap for him. And I bust my rap. My other my other group members were scared. They was like a little nervous. I bust my rap, and swear to God, rest rest his soul. He was like, yo, this cool. This kid kind of reminded me of me when I was younger. Nice. As a nice. kid, as oh, a kid. Oh yeah, I know you was like, oh that click shit. in your head. Right, right. So right. subconsciously, after I met after I met him, I was right. already a fan. Then right. I met him. He right. said, you remind me and me. Right. In my mind, I'm like, I got the stamp from the nigga, like. So my whole mentality That's crazy. My whole work ethic changed to like That's his. crazy, man. My whole music changed to okay, I don't wanna just rap about girls, I wanna rap about ways of the world. Right. I wanna rap about right. shit going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um and that's how I started. And um and I think from then that was at the time when I got my deal. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. I got my deal Who'd you sign with? I signed with Worldwide, but I was mm -hmm. rolling with Puff and them first mm -hmm. before I signed my deal. Mm -hmm. But that's what made Puff and them sign me. Because Puffin was like, it's go. the baby Pac right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pac just passed away in 96. Mm -hmm. This is 98, 98, almost 99. They're like, yo, this is the baby Pac. So I kind of, you know, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. And I never mm. tried to be like Pac. I always wanted to be better than Pac. Right. I'm to right. tell the truth. Right. I always wanted to be better than Pac. Well, I mean, as you should. You know Everybody should have that. That friendly competition, yeah. like I want to be better, not in a disrespectful yeah, way. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just so it was more, always yeah. the thing when people say you sound like Pac. I never got mad. I always. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I always been like, work. Mm -hmm. Yo, appreciate that, dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that was mm -hmm. like a that was like you telling Kobe he 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 played like Michael mm -hmm. Jordan. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna be like, oh, dog, I play. He ain't gonna say that. He gonna be like, yo, word. Compliment. Let me go to gym more. Mm -hmm. This nigga said I play like Michael mm -hmm. Jordan. Mm -hmm. When niggas try to say, I, I remind him of Pop. I took that shit like a weight, nigga. Like mm -hmm. I didn't take it as I'm trying to be Pop. I took it as like, damn, this what these niggas feel. I gotta live up to that shit. I gotta live up to that shit. Pac had passed too, and I met him before. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, man, like, niggas don't know. I used to have dreams and shit. I used to have dreams and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was fucking with Bad Boy, mm -hmm. I used to have dreams like, damn, this nigga Pac might be mad at me. Mm. How you mm. running around, nigga, the baby Pac, nigga, and you fucking with Bad Boy? I used to have dreams like Pac was gonna come kill me, nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As a kid, as a teenager, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Going to LA and niggas like, yo, don't go around sugar them, cause niggas might. <laughs> and then I meet Suge and Suge's like, nigga keep doing that shit. I love that shit. So all that know. shit they, influenced they, me. They, they get it. All that yeah. shit influenced me to say, 
fuck it. I got approval from Pop. Mm -hmm. I got approval from mm -hmm. Pop, Mom. Mm -hmm. They know I'm not trying to disrespect Pop. They know mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be like Pop. I did a song with the Outlaws. Mm -hmm. They bought me in the studio. Looked like they was probably ready to whoop my ass. <laughs> if I would have gave them <laughs> one, one. <laughs> doubt in their mind that i was trying to be tupac mm -hmm. i think they would have whooped my ass right in the studio they put that beat on and they seen me write my shit just like they wrote their shit mm -hmm. even quicker and going that motherfucking spit it yeah like they big yeah. homie used to go in there and spit it yeah yeah and they vouched for me it's dope man you know what you I'm saying? um you had a you had a major accident at some point man you want to speak on that yeah, man. Um, and and like ninety, no, like like two thousand thirteen. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you was ready to pour? You ready to pour them up? Yeah, like two thousand thirteen, I got into a crazy accident. Yeah, why not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn near died. Like yep. I had my crew in the car. Yes, yeah, always get 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 kind of banged up too. Yeah, man. Um, it, it so was, was a car, a car, a car wreck. Yeah, it was a car wreck. I um, I um, we were doing a U turn. I had my security driving. It was mm -hmm. a late night. Mm -hmm. Um, we we're doing a U turn. Mm -hmm. We were driving long distance, coming from like New York or something. So the steering, the power steering was kind of fucking up mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the nigga the went, power steering went out yeah so right. the nigga went to make a u-turn in the power the, the in the in the 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 wheel lock the the steering wheel locked on us so as we making the u-turn it's raining wow. there's a range over coming down 60, speeding 70 miles an speeding, hour right he t-boned us boom mm. we flipped three times mm. my big homie in the back they gotta they gotta get the jaws of life to get him out you know wow. what i'm saying wow my homegirl in the back, she breaks her neck. She break her neck, boom, boom, she break her neck. My security six, seven, he driving, the car crushed. This nigga had to climb out the sunroof. Jeez. And climbing out, and you six, seven in right. a MPV. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we was in a, M, a, M, a, M, a MD, what's them, what's them, um, what's them little, um, them little Nissans, an MDM, some uh, MDVs, we okay. in one of them shits. Mm -hmm. but, the shit's like a three, it's like a three row. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Lucky nobody was in that third that row. That third row. We had other people ready to ride with us, and I, some told me to tell them don't come. That third row was crazy. It was squished. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So we, we go to do a U-turn, and my steering wheel lock, my power steering lock, they, we get T-bone, we flip over three times. First thing I do, and I, I always had this dream, like I'm going to die in a car crash and blow up. So as the car coming, I'm leaning, I, I lean, I'm in the passion seat. Mm. I lean out the window to try to tell the car, no, stop, stop. Oh, so that was the wrong uh -huh. thing to do. Mm -hmm, so when mm -hmm. the car hit me, I'm leaning out the window. Mm. Boom, I get hit. Nigga, I had, I felt like I had this mic in my mouth. Damn. My mouth was that big, dog, yeah. from yeah. my nose, my yeah. shit was out like that. So I thought I lost my teeth, <clears throat> I could see his blood. So I come to wait, I, 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 I come and all I thought was the car was gonna blow up. So I jump out the car, I, I, I break the window, mm -hmm. I climb out the car, fuck my shit up, mm -hmm. you know, I'm mm -hmm. scratched Cut, up. Right, right. I run across the street, now I'm the first one out the car. I'm safe, I run across the street. I think in my mind the car finna blow up because I had dreams about that mm -hmm. shit, dreams mm -hmm. coming real. But some in me was like, God damn dog, if that shit blow up and you ain't try to help nobody in the uh, car, right, that right. shit gonna kill you. Right, so right. in my mind, knowing I thought the car was gonna blow up, I still ran back dog and I tried to get everybody out. And I couldn't get, I got everybody else out, but I couldn't get my boy out. Right. And my boy- Because like, of how crushed the car my was. My boy like, mm -hmm. don't let me die, dog. Don't let me die, cause we think we finna die. I'm like, dog, I'm not gonna let you die. I'm gonna die with you if you die. Like, I'm not leaving you, bro. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew inside that, I knew that if I had to put my life on the line for, for something, for a cause, I would, because a lot mm. of people say they mm. would, but when they get to that point, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you chicken out. What you gonna really do? But at right. that point, I had right. to decide. In my right. mind, I right. thought that shit was finna blow up. So I made a- Cause you had dreams about it. I made a conscious decision like, I'd rather go and try to help and something happen than me to sit back here and that shit blow up and I, I live without my conscience. You're yeah. lucky I was over exaggerating it didn't blow up, but anybody yeah. been in an accident, yeah. Yeah. that's the first that's thing That's the first you thing you think, yeah. You yeah. think that shit finna yeah. blow up. Yeah. It's oil yeah. leaking, it's uh -huh. gas going everywhere. You think it's gonna blow up. So I got everybody out the car. Um, the craziest thing is I had some weed on me, dog. Mm. So what made me jump out the car first is cause I had about an ounce of weed on me. So when we got hit, all I thought about was going to jail. Mm. So I jumped out the car, threw the weed in the grass first. So, so honestly, I jumped out to hide the weed, but right. once I jumped right. out and I was safe, and, and you I thought about back it, at that back. car, everybody's in the car, damn, they slumped over. Mm. And I'm like, yo, this is a time when your fucking hero instincts kick in, nigga. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I thought I was gonna die, bro. 
I thought I was going to die, but... The adrenaline was gone. You had to go save your people. I said, fuck it. I'm going to go. Boom. And I got my man. I got everybody else. Except I couldn't get my man out. So I just stayed by the car with him, dog, thinking the whole time it's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I know if it comes mm -hmm. down to it, mm -hmm. I'm not scared to mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's for a cause. I'm scared to die, but not if it's for a cause. Not for you your family. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Nephew, you good back there? I waited with my dog, bro. You want some food? You want some food? Ambulance came, you know what I'm saying, and 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 we and, and the craziest thing, my dog rock with me t right now. Mm -hmm. We got a crib together right now. I got a Dope. six bedroom crib. He got two spots. It was at two rooms in that bitch. Like, I keep my family close. Like, yeah. I could go get a crib by myself. Me and my girl, my kids. I got kids and everything. You gotta understand, my producer, my homeboys, they stay with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got an eight bedroom house, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so scared to lose my niggas, dog. I lost so many niggas. Mm -hmm. That move my niggas in with me, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's love. And people don't know that about me. Like, That's love. I live with my best friends. Like, I live with my, I bought a big ass crib so we all could stay together. You know what I'm saying? We, they moved out here from Tampa. They, you know, I got niggas from Tampa, mm -hmm. from, from, mm -hmm. from Tallahassee, Detroit. They mm -hmm. live, we live together. Mm -hmm. I bought one crib so everybody could stay in the same because That's dope. That, that situation scared me so much, dog. Mm -hmm. That's, I don't want to do it. Still to this day. To this day. Yeah. I don't want to, I, I have a thing with being alone, bro. I yeah. don't like to be alone. Yeah. That shit drive me crazy, yeah. dog. I gotta have at least one, two niggas with me. Yeah. Because it's just it's it's a paranoia thing. Cause when mm -hmm. you lost so many people, or when you came close to losing something, you don't want to let it go. You don't want to yeah. let it go. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And um, I'm like I'm very overpossessed, not overpossessed, but overprotective mm -hmm. of my friends, my people. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of times I, I meet these good people like yourself, mm -hmm. and they want to get in the industry, and I'm telling them I'm like, look. This shit crazy. Mm. Like once you get in Real. this shit, I can't protect you. Like I can't guard you from every fucked up deal. I can't guard you from every Real. fucked up nigga Real. you gonna meet. Real. Like this, like I've been through some shit. We done been through shootouts. We done been through mm -hmm. grimy shit in this in this game. You know, and I don't even I'm not, I don't even do thug music. You know what I'm right. saying? I right. do music right. for the women, right. bro. Right. And right. I go right. through it. So I'm very protective of my friends and and, 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 and and my family when it comes to this industry shit because I know that. You here today, you gone tomorrow. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. So I'm big on that, on just family and and and, and keeping my keeping yeah. my things close, my relate. I have the same friends since high school, bro. Yeah. Like how many people? Like I tell people, I still keep with yeah. people from high school. They look at me like you still hang with people from high school. Like how? Because like most why? people go to college right. and they forget about their high school right. friends and it's just yeah. your college friends. I, I still never, get I still get my friends from high school. I never yeah. went to college. Yeah. I went to like six months of college in LA, mm -hmm. the Valley in LA. Yeah, that was it. Oh. My high school was my college. Mm -hmm. From there, we went to the pros, nigga. We went, we was, was we it. was, we was getting record it. deals from there. So in Australia, for real. In Australia, for real. So mm -hmm. my high school is like my college. That's my, you know, that's my, that's my, all my memories right there. So I hold mm -hmm. on to all my high school memories, my my friends. I still got high school friends. I hang out with to, to this day that keep me sane and like. They never let me forget. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and you gotta yeah. have friends around you like that. That's right. That That's never right. let you forget. Like, nigga, no matter how much money you get, you yeah. still you still from Cross Key. That's you it. Still, right, right, right. You still from Beautiful Highway. Still dog. from Beautiful Highway. You know what I mean? And I love that. Like I love I was telling my friends that yesterday. I, I was um I got an artist, um, I got a comedian mm -hmm. named um what's his name? Dar Dam Daryl. You know Daryl? Daryl Dam. Daryl Dam. Yeah, we Darryl went to Dam. high school together. Yeah, that's the homie. Daryl was a mm -hmm. savage in mm -hmm. high school. I'm mm -hmm. talking about everybody was scared of Daryl. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Daryl loved me though. Mm -hmm. Daryl loved me. Like, and that's the thing I have about like when I meet people, it's like the people that people say, mm -hmm. like Suge Knight. When I met Suge, everybody was so scared of Suge. Mm -hmm. But I walked up to him like, what's up, dog? Mm -hmm. And he was like, mm -hmm. what's up, dog? You know what I mean? It's like the gangsters people that mm -hmm. you think, like 50, like I met 50 Cent, a nigga love me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody that you meet and they be like, I'm scared of me or 50 might say something like, but it'd be like the hardest, most gangster niggas, they fuck with Lil Zane. That's what's up. And I'm like, why? And they be like, cause you don't try to be nothing you're not. Yeah. These other niggas out here be and, and that's what it's about, man. Just being real, being yeah. true. Yeah. So you don't try to be nothing yeah. you're not. And I think that's what I took with me as an artist. Like, anytime you see me, anytime you see me in an interview, whatever, I'm always me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't never change it, whether I'm platinum or not platinum, whether we in this restaurant. I stay me, man. You know what I mean? I think that's what my fans, even when on my lives, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I stay me, bro. I don't do no extra shit. Like, I ain't the nigga pulling up mm -hmm. all my cars. I got a car, I don't pull up all them shits. Like, I'm just me. Right. It's me, dog. It's doing you. You know what I'm saying? It's me. So you, you got a couple things coming up, man. You got a BET special coming up. Oh, man, yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. 
Man, I'm going to be honest. Can I be all the way honest All the way 100. I'm doing finding BET. Mm -hmm. A lot of people told me not to do it. They said Why? Finding, because they, finding say, BET they say that, that's, dog, that's for people that fell that's, off? That's for people that fell mm -hmm. off. You got Case. You got mm -hmm. Chingy. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we all got a different story. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When I watch their yep. interviews, I asked BET. When they asked me to do it, I said, I'll do it on one occasion. And they said, why? They said, what? I said, you have to let me prepare, premiere my new music. Mm -hmm. And you got to roll right. and you got to right. roll with me through my hood. So these people can right. see. So these people can see the respect and the love that I get and I give where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So because everybody else was just in on a couch in one place. I said, we got to if I'm going to do this, we got to go outside of this because y'all. That's Everybody right. else is looking That's like right. a, they didn't make them. They didn't make them look like has beens, but some people made themselves look like has beens. Well, you, you use the platform. You didn't let it use you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Some people just talked mm -hmm. about what they did, mm -hmm. what happened, and then they didn't say and what else it. they were doing now. That's it. Right. When, when you go to the look, and that's then right. BT told me they. That's why they saved me for the second season. I shot this first season. They said we're gonna set you off. You're gonna mm -hmm. be the last person on the second season. Mm -hmm. I said why? They said because your interview was the most authentic. They said, and this is BET said. They said they use you first in a the promo. They said out of all, the, <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I don't mean to get nobody in trouble, but they said out of all the people we interviewed, Lil Zane the only one still living like a celebrity, still mm. living like a, he still mm. feel like Let's a drop star. Drop one for that. Let's drop. He Let's still drop, feel drop like right a there. star when you walk in. Mm -hmm. And and, mm -hmm. and and again, I don't take nothing for nobody else. It's just that the way I carry myself, like a lot of these cats. It's the confidence. The confidence mm -hmm. is gone. Mm -hmm. The confidence is gone. They had a single before. People not checking for them now. They ain't had nothing in a while. So you could see it so in they, the So they stopped. So they stopped. Yeah. Me, bro. You, you still going. Man, I got the mind, the fucking mind of a Kobe, dog. Yeah. And yeah. like I feel yeah. like Kobe in this rap game. I feel like people in my yeah. position would have quit right now. Mm -hmm. They would have quit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They would have quit, darling. Because you still working on like your own, your own. Uh, you sh you filming stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. I stay in the studio. Mm -hmm. I'm writing for people that mm -hmm. some of the biggest artists you 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 listen to Thank now. Mm -hmm. I'm writing for, and I'm writing. Well, I don't like to say writing for. I'm writing with, mm -hmm. writing for, collabing with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I always use this analogy. When you're in the club, and that, and I told you that day I met mm -hmm. you, and the spotlight mm -hmm. going around. Mm -hmm. When the spotlight hits you, dog. You you just gotta be ready when it hits you. Right. But right. It, it's gonna come on you. The spotlight moving around. Eventually yeah. it's gonna hit you. Yeah. yeah. I just try to be ready when the spotlight hit me again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool yeah. with not being on top. Like everybody can't be on top forever, dog. Right. Right. Kanye had his top. Then he had when niggas hated him. Mm -hmm. Then you mm -hmm. then you show mm -hmm. and prove again mm -hmm. and you get back on top. That's right. Lil Zane ain't no different. I'ma show and prove. I'ma show and prove. Y'all my peers. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. I I love competition. Yeah. I love yeah. Yeah. I love going to the next level. That I, makes you better. I never been scared, dog, to drop everything I know and learn something new. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm still around in this new music. And I'm not just saying this. Like when you hear my music, you can hear the difference. Not mm -hmm. taking anything mm -hmm. from any artist that right. was right. from my era. But I stopped rapping for six months just to go to the club and listen to DJs. Mm. Just, just, just I go sit by the DJ, just watch the BPM, mm -hmm. watch mm -hmm. the BPM, see how the crowd react to certain songs, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I would. And mm -hmm. DJ, when we play a record, nah, I'm good, dog. Yeah, yeah. You don't got to play my. I'm not here for that. I'm here because I'm you trying. Observing. I'm you trying studying. to observe this shit because I want to be around forever, my nigga. And when I moved to Cali, I ain't gonna lie. <coughs> Cali, <coughs> excuse mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Cali's on it now because the internet made it to where they right. could get they could get right. music on real right. time like us. Right. But right. take it back before the internet. Cali was getting music. <clears throat> Cali was getting music. Atlanta music will get to Cali two years later. When Lil John was blowing up mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. and I was living in Cali, when Lil John was the biggest nigga in the world and I went to Cali, they never had him on right, the radio they didn't even know yet. Right, 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 right. So, and then when I would come down here and I'd be like, yo, y'all heard that Bobby Valentino? Um, mm -hmm. I just want to get to know you. Mm, slow down. That yep. slow down mm -hmm. record took off in L.A. for a year before mm -hmm. Atlanta before picked it, it here. up. So, so it, was, it was back. Because Atlanta was yeah. on some crunk crunk. Right. It was right. hard for Bobby right. Valentino being right. an R&B artist, even though he's from Atlanta, mm -hmm. to get Atlanta to play him. Mm -hmm. So Atlanta picked it up after it blew up. Right. So I understood that. I'm like, yo, love Cali to death. But at the time, Cali was so behind on the music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it fucked my ear up. Ah, uh, okay. It fucked right. my era up. Me being right. from Atlanta, I came back. I'm like, yo, I, I lost that shit. I need to, 
resurface, shut the fuck up for a minute, mm-hmm. go to the club and just listen to these just DJs. Right. And I did that right. for six months. Right. And I started writing new shit and niggas like, yo, this shit sound like what niggas doing right now. And, mm-hmm. I, and remember, mm-hmm. I told you, mm-hmm. I was always good at imitating right. Right. whatever was some, hot. Right. I'm good at voice. So like a fucking right now, nigga be like, man, I don't know what you doing. Like I could do Cat Williams right. voice. I right. could do right. Snoop right. voice. Right. I could do anybody from Pac voice to Biggie right. voice. Right. I'm an actor. I know how to exercise my right, voice. Right, right. And as an actor, they teach you how to exercise your voice. So I took that and put it with my music. So I took that and put it with my music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's why people say, oh, you sound like Pac. I don't sound like Pac now. Right. I could sound like Pac if I wanted to. Right. Maybe right, better. Right. But when you hear my music now, you're going to be like, oh, wow, this sounds like what's going on right now. Mm. So my question mm-hmm, to my mm-hmm, fans, mm-hmm, to my and people mm-hmm. out there is like, okay, well, I'm wondering what they're going to say now. Right. They say, he's trying to be like, Pop, what are they going to say now when right. I switched it totally up on them? Right. So you got, what you got, what else you got going on, man? You, got, got, you got Finding, uh, finding. Uh, yeah, I got I got Finding BT uh-huh. dropping. Basically, mm-hmm. you know, Finding BT is a um, documentary mm-hmm. BT following me around for a week. Mm-hmm. You're going to hear new music on there. Mm-hmm. You're going to hear my story from my, my mouth. You know, I always have people tell my story for me, but I'm able to tell my own story right now. Shout out to BET for letting me do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, also, I also got a movie on um, um, coming on February 8th on Aspire TV. That's the okay. Magic, Magic Johnson channel. Nice. Um, it's called Martin, Malcolm, and Me. Mm-hmm. I'm really proud of this piece right here. Now, this, you, you're acting or you help write um, it? Or? I'm acting. Um, the writer is J.D. Lawrence. Okay. J.D. Lawrence is a huge play writer. Mm-hmm. He had a couple shows on um, Bravo, NBC. Um, he gave me an opportunity to play the role of Lucky. And Lucky is like a guy that my brother gets killed by the police. Mm. And I start a riot, basically trying to, um, I start a revolution trying mm-hmm, to, mm-hmm. you know, in, 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 um, in, in, what do you call it? In honor of my brother. Right. But right. they locked me up. And while I'm in, while I'm in solitary confinement, I'm visited by the spirit of Martin and Malcolm. Uh, and okay. they trying to teach me how to go about it. All right, it. Don't, don't, get, don't give the whole you thing away. You know what I mean? So I got that. I got that. So you got February 8th. You got Aspire TV, Martin, Malcolm, and me. I'm back. I feel like this. Two months ago, I probably wasn't relevant. Okay. But when you got a movie and you starring in it and you want to ask the Aspire TV channel mm-hmm. that has 100 million viewers mm-hmm. and it's owned by Magic Johnson, mm-hmm. you are back. Oh man! Uh, there's nobody. I'm starring and, and in it simultaneously. So you're gonna be on the finding yeah, BT. Yeah, and I'm, I'm on finding BT after that. And I'm, I'm my, my new single. Some, some my new music. single. My music. My my new single dropped February first. Okay. It's called God's Drip. Okay. I got another record that's crazy called Zombie. I let you hear it in the uh, parking yeah, zombie, lot. Zombie. I got another dope, record yeah. called yeah. Too Late. Okay. I'm working with um Atrocity. Atrocity produced for Lil Kid. He produced for Ti. Mm-hmm. He produced for a gang mm-hmm. of people. He mm-hmm. out of Grand Hustle. Oh, they, they, they I'm over there key. at Grand Hustle Studio all the time. Shout out to Tip. Shout out mm-hmm. to B, um Bob. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Stroud. Um, you know, just all these ATLians, all these kings of ATL didn't, didn't really embrace me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I got that. So I got the movie dropping. I got the TV, sh- the movie dropping um, mm-hmm. the 8th, the BT dropping on the 14th. I got a new clothing line that's out right now. You could okay. go on. I you need my shirt. On. What's up? Oh, I got large. you. I started to bring you one, see, bro. See, I forgot oh, it. I rushed man. out. The, I didn't go to sleep till 9 this morning. I'm see, gonna be, I run it at the hours. Okay. I run okay. it at the hours. And I'm. I'm I co-own a film studio. Okay. And a lot of people don't know that. I co-own a film studio in Norcross. We're full it's, film studio. What studi- I'm over here killing it, Yo, man. Yo, we're, fil- we're full killing film it. studio and stu- um, film and recording studio, but it got the perks at night. I turn into an after hours. Okay. Anybody in the city know we got it so cracking. So why, why haven't I gotten invited to the after hour yet, Because man, you so be up so early at the radio station, nah, I be man, scared nah, to bring. Nah, Cause nah. Because we don't open until uh-uh. 2 a.m., bro. So what? We don't it's open a party the fanatic, man. Well, you know what? Uh, when you come, when you ready, I'm, <laughs> when you ready to come out, I'm saying on TV. When he ready to come out, whatever he drinking, whiskey, whatever we drinking, I got my dog. And um, we got know, one already uh, loaded, locked and loaded man, we before got, we get got, out of here. Okay, I'm right here. Yeah, locked and loaded. <laughs> they, they pour to you. And, and you just know. to let y'all know, you know, you can follow me on social media. Yeah, give, 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 give them the socials. Give them the Instagram, Facebook, man, Twitter, Lil Zane's websites. World, Lil Zane's World, everything, Lil mm-hmm. Zane's World. Twitter, Lil Zane's World, Facebook, mm-hmm. Lil Zane's World, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Spell um, it out for him. I'm L I L Z A N E S W O R L D. I got a clothing line that mm-hmm. I started What's with, the my, name of the clothing with my line? wifey. It's called Established Black. You can go to establish nice. B uh, Established B L A K dot com. Mm-hmm. I got crazy promos right now. You could mm-hmm. go grab your stuff. It's about mm-hmm. generational. It's about raising awareness on generational wealth. Love it. And um, you know, supporting women. It's really my 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 girls' clothing line, but. 
I'm I'm behind it 100%. You love know it. what I mean? Love I got it. a TV show I just shot called The Fellas. Um, mm-hmm. The Fellas is a, um, a, a, a urban version of The Office. Okay. Um, it's starring me, Kar- um, Karan Raleigh. Karan mm-hmm. Raleigh played on um, UPN, all Tyler Perry movies. Um, um, it's me, Karan Raleigh. It's um, Rod Minger. It's um, Rod, um, Rodney Perry. Mm-hmm. Um, Rodney I got Perry, Jackie dude, O. Man. Jackie O's on there. DC Jackie, Fly's okay. wife okay. is on there. Okay. And I also got um, Nav Green. Okay. Nav Green, my man, Lim Collins. So, and this is something I pro- pro- co produced, produced, wrote. Um, you know, so I'm into that. And I got a TV show called If I Wasn't that's being shot right now in the networks. Y'all mm-hmm. will probably see it in the next six months. They loving it. If I Wasn't is basically a show I got. Mm-hmm. And, um, mm-hmm. It shows basically, I interview celebrities, and I told you about it. Very good. I interview celebrities doing what they would, thought they would have been doing if they wasn't famous. Right, right. You know, so my man right. said, what did yeah. you want to be? Go, a teacher, teacher right? Yeah. So yeah. I was going to have yeah. Silver go to his high school and be a teacher for, for a day. day. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I thought that was dope. Yeah. The networks is loving yeah. it right now. So yeah. I've been writing content, and, and that's what I'm into right now. A lot about. of content. content. And, yeah. yeah. And um and like I said. That's I, what this is. This is content. This is content. Yeah. And, and and don't get it wrong. A lot of times when you write, and I'm going to end with this. A lot of times when you're writing and you're doing other things, people think that you just stop doing music. I ain't stopped doing music. I just know that it's a time and place for everything. Right. You know what I right. mean? You talking right. about this right, right now. We right. might not be talking about my album right now. You might be interviewing right. me because of the movie or whatever. Right. right. I understand it's a time and place. Artists got to understand every time. Mm-hmm. Artists try to push music down people's throats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When sometimes mm-hmm. you got to let it flow naturally. Maybe mm-hmm. niggas don't want to hear music from Lil Zane right now. Maybe they got to see a movie or see a TV show right. Right. and get right. familiar with me again. Then say, you right. know what? Right. So I, I look at and it like either way. Like you said, you prepare, so when they, they want it, you have it. Is that when that spotlight hits you to be ready? That's, Preparation, that's um, opportunity equals success, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I was oh, prepared yeah. for this oh, yeah. interview. I was excited about this oh, interview. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't, I'm gonna tell y'all this. I do it at the hours. I got home at 9:30, what well, nine o'clock this morning. Mm-hmm. Had me some breakfast. And what's crazy? We were talking. I, I called you. I, I think I text you at seven. You did. Something. I was up. You text I was, right up. Right. I was, like, I was up. up. I was up. Yeah. I was excited about this show. I just left my at the hours. I told my security. I said, no matter what. If I sleep for an hour, wake me up. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. be late for my dog yeah. Yeah. because I treat you like you, Jimmy Fallon. Dog. Hey, I don't want to be late, dog. I appreciate it, man. And I thank you. For hey, real, for real. Zane. Definitely. Lil Zane. I love you, bro. Lil Zane's world. I love, I love you, too, you, man. Bro. This is but first. We didn't even get to chop it up like we really wanted to, but I think oh, well, you let this there, interview there's go always, out. There's always a, a part two, but what I like to do I want to come back. Yo, what I like to do with these interviews, and you're more than welcome to come back. Thank you. I don't want it to be all structured and boring and stiff. It's just like I told you. It's just a conversation. Hey, honestly, I didn't expect to even tell you what I told you. Yeah. I think that the fans probably got a shitload of shit yeah. they didn't know about. <laughs> I'm sorry if I got emotional about some things. Yeah. I'm a cancer. I'm very yeah. emotional. When's your I'm birthday? Very, July 11th, 7 11. So I'm, I'm June 30, 6 30 cancer. Oh, man. You're a cancer, <laughs> bro. Yeah. See, I knew it was something, and I never ask people their signs. Yeah. Yeah. But usually when I yeah. feel like it's yeah. too that much makes in sense. common, that makes sense. And, 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 and in mind, That's crazy. That, that, that gives me a little bit more insight about you, too. That's like crazy. when I first met you, bro, you like me. We might come off as standoffish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We just mm-hmm. don't want to, mm-hmm. we just don't want to, we don't like to do too much. Mm-mm. Everybody do too mm-hmm. much. I like, I'm and the we type like to person, watch too. I, exactly. Like so to I might, so to anybody in the industry that yeah. I offended, sometime I might come off standoffish, but I'm probably the, I'm probably the most humblest, nicest guy you're going to meet, This is real. Meet, this bro. is true. Like, this I just, true. I'm so used to people yeah. judging me because I don't got an album out mm-hmm. right now because whatever. People are so fickle that I don't know if I say what's up to my favorite artist is out right now. If he going to show me the love back, then I show him. Right, right, You know, right. And I don't That's always right. think right. everybody know me. That's I don't right. always That's think, right. oh, I'm Lil Zane, they know me. I introduce myself to everybody, right. dog. And they yeah. be like, I've they got to they gotta tell me, yeah. I know you, dog, yeah. shut up. I've seen because it. I don't I've go seen into it. it like, oh, you know who I am. Right. So understand that standoffish is just from... It's really humbleness. It's not mm-hmm. standoffish. Mm-hmm. It's, it's mm-hmm. so if you ever you watching this and you ever seen me on, you be like, yo, he ain't really saying yeah, nothing. Yeah, make his highlighter, man. That's all you gotta Same do. Cool as a you fan, know what I'm man. saying? I'm cool as a fan, dog. And and I understand because it took me a lot to come up to you, bro. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. when you in that office, dog, and you're around on them radio DJs, yeah, 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 and yeah. I'm still an artist. Yeah, yeah. I look yeah, at y'all yeah. like, yo, I got, <laughs> I gotta make them niggas love me. <laughs> But right. I don't want to do too much. Right, right, right. I don't want right. to seem like I'm trying to make right. them love me when really I'm a lovable guy. You know what I mean? Hey, man. He is, man. That's, that's Lil Zane right there, man. My God, But first, man. Whiskey. My God. Hey, Lil shots, Zane. shots in the afternoon. Shout out to my <laughs> dog, man. Y'all follow me on did Instagram, we, did, man. Did we leave Australia yet? Man, we. you know what? We finna go. Listen, I already took I mine. To LA, I was waiting. Man. Let's we, go back to L.A. All right, well, shit. Let's go back to L.A. Let's go back to the United States. Come on. Hold on. Look. 
Oh, we gotta we gotta pull the cameraman some too though. All right. Cause he's been swagging with us. All right, we'll, we'll pull time. him on. We'll pull him on off camera. Okay, off camera, <laughs> off camera. Hey, love you guys. Thank Lil you for Zane, having man. me too, man. Lil Zane, let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it because it's unorthodox. That's we right. didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. It. You let it flow. I, I, I have some questions, and then it's like I'll, I'll throw a couple. I feel like let, the fans going to be like, I did not fucking know that. Because a lot of uh -huh. shit I didn't even expect to tell you. Like, you but know, you, you see, I text but, you like what I thought I was going to talk about. you see, I did a little research. Saucy! So